This is a Sectacon clock drive wheel. The rubber wheel has completely disintegrated. As you can see, there's no wheel. There's just some of the epoxy left and kind of what's left of rubber. This is not uncommon. What is uncommon is finding a replacement drive wheel. If you can't find a replacement dry wheel, you have to make one. To take this apart, the star wheel is crimped light, crimp on the end of this shaft, and it has to be timed exactly like it is. So you have to mark it and put it back. This shaft in the center right here is one piece that goes all the way through to the back side. This can be taken apart with your staking tool. In this case I'm showing that there's no shaft in the middle. I've already removed that. The staff. You can see on the back the back plate is separate from the front and it sandwiches the rubber in between. You can see there's a little notch right there. So you drive it through from one side and split the two metal plates, clean all the epoxy out and the rubber pieces, and you make a new one. You can make it out of rubber if you can find it. <coughs> That's exactly 0.55 millimeters thick, or like this one, which is made out of a piece of a circuit board out of an electronics device circuit board exactly 0.55 millimeters thick. The diameter is 6.460 millimeters. And the notches are exactly the same size as the original. And it's all just pressed back together. And of course I got the staff in the middle of this one now so you, you can see what it looks like assembled. The thickness can be a little plus or minus, but the diameter must be dead on 6.46 millimeters. And there it is, ready to roll. And it is epoxied in there as well as kind of a press fit.